F1 Manager 2023 takes all the excitement of a race weekend and shifts the focus to behind the pit wall. If you're a fan of the Codemasters F1 games, you know how stressful the tight turns on some of these street circuits are. How many times has a hot qualifying lap been ruined by a light touch of the wall at Monaco? In F1 Manager, that's not your problem. Your only job is to tell the driver to watch their tyres, fuel consumption and about a dozen other metrics on not just one car, but two. F1 Manager 2023 fixes minor mistakes from the series debut last year and adds new ways to play. And it remains a compelling motorsports management simulation that's committed to helping you grow both your knowledge and love of the sport. From the factory and on the pit wall, that's a podium for the pole team. And you'd love to see this. Juggling multiple metrics and managing a pair of the most elite race cars on the planet may sound overwhelming on paper, but in practice, everything feels like an opportunity to learn. And to help you learn, F1 Manager 2023 adds a brand new scenario mode called Race Replay. Race Replay features both full race replays and team-specific objectives for each track. One moment is an objective at Silverstone that requires you to push both McLaren cars up to the podium after a yellow flag restart. Despite the text of the challenge confirming that Norris needed to pit, if you wait about half a lap, it appears Norris will suggest a pit stop himself. However, this caused him to take longer to get into the pits, but there was also a pit stop error, which saw Norris drop the 10th spot and resulted in failing the challenge. Upon restarting and immediately telling Norris to pit, there was no pit stop error, and Norris held track position in fourth, making it very easy for him to overtake and win the challenge. It's this ability to A-B test your own actions that makes it feel like F1 Manager 2023 genuinely wants to teach the value of confident decision making and how crucial that is to becoming a world champion constructor. This ethos is the theme that shines brightest in F1 Manager and is so inviting that race replay is often a more exciting destination than the flagship career mode. If any of this sounds interesting, the deluxe edition of F1 Manager 2023 includes 14 additional race moments, including a scenario with the brand new Las Vegas Grand Prix if you're itching to immediately see how it drives without simming most of a career season. The drivers are getting ready down in the pit lane and it's time for qualifying. That career mode allows you to take control of any of the 10 teams on the grid and manage everything a team principal would. You have the ability to design car parts, build or upgrade team facilities, and manage the staff and drivers that work under you. You can even micromanage a pit crew and have them run drills as a unit to help cut down on errors and make them faster. All of these decisions end up producing confidence from your board of directors. Keep them happy and you can manage your millions as you see fit. But if you're unable to meet their demands, you may see yourself getting your walking papers rather quickly. Which team you decide to manage will determine a lot about how detail-oriented you need to be. Red Bull is not only flush with cash, but regularly cleans up race after race. Even if you automate an entire weekend, they will do fine. This means they can afford to take a long-term approach and aim for a locked-up championship at the halfway point of the season. Meanwhile, at the other end of the paddock, you have a team like AlphaTauri which, despite having good drivers, just has an outright lousy car. This means that they need to scrap and claw every weekend just to make it out of the first qualifying session. It's this wide spectrum of challenge that makes F1 Manager 2023 stand out. Even if you manage to have a perfect relationship with your board and amass millions thanks to your sponsors, you'll eventually run into the cost cap. The cost cap is a rule put in place so that teams can't just dump billions into their teams. While it helps promote fairness, as each season has got longer and longer, even the top dogs like Red Bull and Mercedes have to be careful not to just burn through car parts. It means that in F1 Manager 2023, you always have to be making decisions. Sure, you can decide to save your money now and not upgrade your car parts, but that might cost you three races down the line. F1 Manager 2023 also makes sure to keep its authenticity intact by adding the two new tracks that were included in the 2023 calendar, as well as the sprint weekend format for six race weekends. These two simple additions make the strategy layer of career mode entirely different from last year. Sprint weekends forgo a practice session in order to run a shorter distance race on Saturday for a crack at more constructor points. While it's caused heated debate among F1 fans, it's a perfect example of what makes F1 Manager stand out. It's an opportunity to collect data and feel comfortable. 
F1 Manager also goes an additional step further than its Codemasters cousin by including not just F2 drivers, but F3 as well. That said, drivers from these feeder categories were also available in F1 Manager 2022. It'd be great to see this fleshed out more by letting you create custom drivers that you can sign and build from the ground up. And Nico Hülkenberg gets himself ahead. Once you're ready for a race weekend, you have three main mechanics to push the pace of your cars on track. Asking your driver to increase the heat of your tyres will cause them to speed up at the cost of literally burning rubber. Run your tyres too long and too hard and you'll turn a two-stop race into a three-stop race and likely force your driver and team out of the points. Managing your tyres throughout an entire weekend can be difficult if you aren't careful. And they'll need to be mindful of the effect that that had on the tyres. Certain tracks are harder on tyres than others. If you use up most of your soft tyres in practice of qualifying, you might get stuck starting the race on a worn set. It's an authentic juggling act, as is managing the energy recovery system. Fuel is a bit more straightforward. Ask the driver to keep his foot on the accelerator and he'll also have to hammer on the brake, thus burning more fuel. Of course, refueling is banned in F1. If you run out of fuel, you literally cannot finish a race. Oscar, you can reduce the Lyco slightly. Copy. You can also give your individual drivers some very basic commands to shape their on-track behavior. While your AI drivers can do a decent enough job of overtaking and defending themselves, mastering when to issue these commands yourself can help you avoid getting stuck in the middle or back of the pack. However, it's slightly disappointing that there's no way to design full team plans, like telling your A driver to swap positions with the B driver because the B driver has better pace. Drivers don't have a relationship with each other, but are simply there to take instructions. It stands out because team orders are a divisive but common facet of F1 authenticity, and it's something missing from F1 Manager 2023. Hopefully, it's something Frontier can improve on in future games. That said, the involvement of real drivers has resulted in an extremely strong audio package in F1 Manager 2023, and getting to hear real pit wall audio from the drivers is an absolute joy. Typical. Hearing fan favorite drivers like Yuki Tsunoda swear after dropping back to last place can generate a genuine cackle, which can take the sting out of a race weekend that was otherwise a failure. Okay, yeah. And there's the checkered flag. Max Verstappen is our winner. F1 Manager 2023 proves that Frontier isn't one and done. It's a championship contender. Race replay is an absolute show stealer, and there's nothing better than solving the strategic puzzle laid out for you in a single go. F1 Manager 2023 is as enjoyable to listen to at normal speed as it is to play, and although you can rush through at 16 times speed for an entire season in an afternoon if you want, it's far more relaxing to treat it like an actual race and just chill out and watch. F1 Manager 2023 is a deep sports management experience that understands that racing could be a sport that everyone can enjoy, and if you enjoy any type of management game at all, you should consider adding this to your collection. And Perez completes the overtake. For more real racing action, check out our review for F1 23 and our first look at this year's Forza Motorsport. And for everything else, stick with IGN.